certified most accurate. Now your TV5 first alert forecast. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Matthew Mondra with your Monday afternoon update going through the rest of today. Going to be pretty comfortable. We have sunny skies out there now, but we are expecting a handful more clouds to start to move back in. Most of these just high level clouds, but it is going to at least obscure the sky just a little bit, especially compared to the weekend. But overall, still partly cloudy and flint for the rest of today. Temperatures lower to middle 80s. That wind will start to shift more to the northeast. Wind speeds at 5 to 15 miles per hour. If you're heading to any Juneteenth events this afternoon, especially anything that's outdoors, the weather certainly is working out for that. At 85 expected in Flint officially 84 for Saginaw this afternoon 83 for Bay City and Midland notice closer to the water some lower 70s just because of that wind coming right off of Lake Huron but overall still some pretty nice mid June weather as we go through today. We're also still tracking some hazy skies with the wildfire smoke moving in from Canada that northeast wind is still persisting keeping that smoke right through here. Once we head into the later parts of Tuesday even Tuesday night and into Wednesday we're seeing some signs that the smoke could thin out just a little bit more. This is something that we are going to watch towards the middle of this week, but the smoke is still bringing some slightly lower air quality falling into the moderate or even unhealthy for sensitive groups range. So if you are affected by the smoke, just remember to try to not do anything too strenuous if you'll be outdoors at least for long periods of time. First alert 70 forecast shows we warm up even a little bit more towards the middle of the week. 87 by Wednesday, also on Thursday and the first day of summer is on Wednesday. Sunny skies there too, so very fitting weather as we start off the new season. Once we head into the weekend and this is where the blocking pattern in the jet stream is expected to start to break down. It could bring some showers back to the area. This is something that we'll watch very closely through this week. Needless to say, we still very much need some rainfall in mid Michigan. Stay with WNEM TV 5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.